What's going on, family? 2 Timothy chapter 2 says that even if we are faithless, he remains faithful because he cannot deny himself. Brothers and sisters, we serve a faithful God. And as, the, as his followers in Jesus Christ, we ought to also remain faithful and be faithful to him. Deuteronomy chapter 13 verse 4 says these words. You must follow the Lord your God and fear him. You must keep his commands and listen to him. You must worship him and remain faithful to him. You must worship him and remain faithful to him. Here in this text, we see Moses speaking to the children of Israel about false prophets. Prophets that are sent to entice the people to fall away from the Lord and to follow after them, referring to the prophets, versus following after the Lord. And Moses tells the people that when they enter their promised land and these things begin to happen, that they aren't to follow after these people, but instead they are to reject their teaching and their way. And he gives them three you must. But here, as we look at the last you must, or the last command that Moses gives to the people, he tells them here that they are to must worship him and remain faithful to the Lord. And as I've said for the previous devotionals, this specific situation is probably not a applicable so clearly to us in our daily lives. It's probably not applicable that false prophets are driving us away, but there are things that can draw our attention away from the Lord. One of those things is fear. Another one is pride. Let me say that again. Fear and pride are things that draw us away from the Lord. Fear allows us to take our eyes off the provision and the protection of the Lord and forget about his faithfulness to us. Pride thinks that we are greater than the Lord and allows us to take our eyes off of him and put them back on ourselves, which is a hard thing to do, but to put our eyes back on ourselves. But instead, the text is telling us to do something very different. The text here in verse 4 is, is saying that we must Keep our eyes steadily focused on the Lord. We are to worship him and him only. We are to remain faithful to him and him only. In the book of Hebrews, it says that we look to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. We aren't to look to man. We aren't to look to ourselves, our political leaders, or any other created Thing. But we are to look to our one God and his son, Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, let me ask you a question. Are you allowing the things of this world to distract your focus from the Lord? Are you allowing the things that shine and the things that glimmer and the things that put you in a position above others and allowing those things? to allow you to forget the Lord that brought you to where you are. Let me encourage you today that the text says that you must worship the Lord and remain faithful to him. This is not a suggestion. This is not a, 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 a good thing to do. It is a command from God. And so let me encourage you to worship the Lord, to remain faithful to what he has to say, and to not let the distractions of this life pull you away from the faithful God that we serve. So with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the command here that even though things in this world may try to draw us and pull us away from you, that our charge and our command is to remain faithful to you and worship you all the days of our life. The Bible talks about having endurance. Give us that endurance to remain steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that our labor for you is never in vain. Lord, we love you, we praise you, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 
So thank you for studying with me. Come back as we look at the final devotional in this series from Deuteronomy 13. God bless.